Hello everyone, I'm back again to uh, walk you through some information about OK Career Guide and just some opportunities that it has for you uh, in this distance learning uh, opportunity that we have right now. So uh, we're going to jump right in and I'm going to I'm going to show you some, uh, some different things about OK Career Guide today. I'm going to share my screen with you again. Uh, I've already logged into the to the system OKCareerGuide.com uh, and, and so you can see my my home screen here where I've taken this assessment. Again, there's a lot of information over here on this right hand side showing you um, different steps and different things that you could be doing while you're uh, while you're kind of working through um, some of the information that's on this website. Now what I'm going to do today is we're going to go over here on the left hand side and I'm going to look at this plan for work tab. And so as I click on that plan for work tab, uh, it has several different things on it that, that you can look at. Now, the reason we're gonna do this today is because I know that several of you high school students are gonna be looking for opportunities uh, for jobs this summer, or maybe even coming up in the next few weeks. And so these are some things, if you've never gone through a job interview, if you've never uh, um, worked on a job application, these are some, some things that can help you out a little bit. So you'll see over here on the left-hand side, there's a, a sample job application. So you can click on that and it shows just what a application or what kind of information you would need for a job application. So you can go through there, just some personal information up top, um, any work experience that you have had. If, you, if you've worked somewhere before, if you've, if you've babysat for someone, if you've mowed uh, yards for someone, uh, those would all be work experience. It doesn't have to be a job that that you had at a you know at a convenience store or at a uh, you know restaurant. So work experience, you're going to put down uh, information there. Your education, so whatever high school that you are at, uh, the contact person there would probably be the principal would be your best one. Um, and then you can work your way down. Probably not a lot of you have had military service, so you would leave that blank. That's that's absolutely fine. Um, and then you're going to uh, put in some references. Now, good references for you are going to be uh, teachers, uh, coaches, um, any teacher that sees you outside of the classroom would be an awesome reference. Um, any uh, anyone that you have worked with and uh, you're worked for uh, would be a good reference as well. Uh, you know, and maybe even like a a youth pastor or uh, someone that that works with you through. Uh, you know, Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts, something like that would be great references for high school students. So it's just something to look at. It's information that you'll need whenever you go and, and submit a job application. And so I encourage you to look at that. Uh, once you finish the job application, you're probably gonna get a call for an interview. And so uh, you can click on this tab that has the interview process. And there's all kinds of tabs up here at the top. Uh, first one's preparation. You know, what do you need to know before you go into the interview? There's a little short video here to watch. These are great videos uh, that just give you some additional information. Common questions tab. Uh, these are just, what are your common questions that you're gonna have during an interview? Uh, I think that you really need to work on, on your questions and, and your answers. Know how to, to, uh, to answer those, those more common questions. Tell me a little bit about yourself. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Those kinds of things are all gonna be questions that you'll see there. Again, these are some, some videos that you can watch about that as well. Questions to avoid. These are gonna be, at, at the end of the uh, job interview, you're gonna have the opportunity where they're gonna say, do you have any questions for me? And so that is a, an opportunity for you to ask a question about that company, uh, about what their future is, what their plans are, those kinds of things. Some questions to avoid. Uh, is, there's a short little video here. Don't ask how much you're gonna get paid. Don't ask when you're gonna get off you know, work or vacation or whatever. Those, those are things that you want to avoid. What should you wear? You know, what do you want to look like whenever you walk in? How professional dress should you be? Uh, this is a good tab for that. And then there's another one for stages and then follow up. You know, should you should you send a, a, a thank you letter to the person and just thanking them for their time or is it an email or what should it be? So that's a, a follow up area for you to look at as well. Again, another video for you to, uh, to look at. I know that was that was pretty quick. We're gonna we're gonna work through some more videos in the future again, but that one's just to help you out, just to, to look at hey, how do I fill out a job application? What am I gonna do in the interview process to get you prepared so that you can go out and get the job that you're wanting this summer? I hope you have a great day. Uh, again, if you have any questions, check out uh, MeridianTech.edu. There's some more information on there that can help you uh, as as we continue through this distance learning process.